You right guys, so if satay chicken is one of your go-to dishes when you have a Chinese, especially if you're in the UK, one of the staple dishes that I have is satay chicken on a skewer. So recently I found out that one of my favorite rub producers, Angus and Oink, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I use them a lot and I've, I've used them since day one. Their stuff is absolutely awesome, it's amazing. Great product, simple as that. Family run business, I bought this out of my own money. Satay chicken rub is absolutely amazing. So what we need to do is get some decent chicken wings. So I'm gonna pop down the road to a local farm, bank farm, just down the road from me. They got this awesome thing going on. It's been going on for a long, long time. Do you know what? Let's take you down there. Let's go down there and I'll show you what it's all about. Cause it's pretty cool to be fair, I gotta say. Just down the road for me, five minute drive if that. Cause their wings are big and they are awesome for the barbecue. So let's go. And it's called The Egg Machine. Look it up, they've got a Facebook page and all that sort of business. Yeah, as I say, it's pretty good to have this just on my doorstep. So Emma wants a pudding, we'll go 54. Also, I'm gonna get some eggs, 71. And we're gonna go and see the lads and get some chicken wings. So, go to checkout. You can either continue shopping or pay, so pay, put your card there, job done. Then you just wait for the uh, box to open that you've, that you've bought. You can't get better than that. And as I say, it's all local produce, homemade. So just to give you an idea of what's in here, I know I've already gone through some of the produce, but you've got all sorts, ham hocks, cheese and bacon, a red onion, turnovers, you know, it just goes on and on. Milkshakes, jams, lemon curd, freshly baked cookies, scotch eggs, chicken and bacon and sausage parcel. You got the homemade toffee apple pies. You got the free range chickens, their own sausages. Yeah, it just goes on and on. There's loads and loads of stuff. Gluten free brownies. The egg machine. What can I say? Aldington, you just cannot go wrong. So let's go and get these chicken wings. Let's go. Nice one, mate. Thanks no for them. Enjoy them. They're massive. That's perfect. Cheers, Nathan. No problem. Okay, so as I say, these are quite big wings. That's why I went to get these from these guys rather than the local supermarket. I mean, look at the size of them. They're mammoth. Decent sized wings there. Okay, so pat them dry. That's how much I like this stuff. I've actually restocked recently. This is Tubby Tom's Sabbath oil. Awesome on roast potatoes. So we're just gonna give them a little drizzle, just for that rub to a deer. Even with just that oil, it's starting to smell amazing already. So I'm gonna do the underside first because presentation side will be skin side up. Obviously, you've got skin both sides, but you know what I'm saying. A lot of rubs tend to have a lot of salt content, 
this one doesn't. Just be very, very wary of that when you do use rubs on small items like chicken wings. You know, if it's got a high salt content, you're gonna grill them up and it's just gonna be overpowering with salt. But this particular rub isn't. So we're gonna go on fairly liberal. It really, really does taste just like satay chicken when you what you get from the Chinese takeaways over here in the UK. Absolutely amazing. Not being funny, the size of these wings, you're gonna have two wings and you'll be full up, I reckon. Right, it's fairly cold out here this time of the year, so I'm just gonna leave them sat out here for a good 20 minutes to let that adhere and soak in. I'm gonna go and get the coals lit and then we'll see you on the grill. We're gonna be cooking on the Weber kettle. Okay, so we're using the Vortex today. Just gonna to pour that in now. Spread them out a bit evenly. Now these are obviously gonna take a lot longer than normal. Chuck a nice chunk of cherry on there. Give it a little hint of smoke. Shut that up. Reckon we're gonna be probably half hour, 40 minutes at least for these. So we'll check back on them in about 10 minutes. We'll see you then. Cheers guys. Okay, so we're at the 10 minute mark now. I have got to say, I had to open the top vent almost to full and the bottom vent almost to full because it wasn't quite getting up to 10. It was just sitting just under 200. It's slowly getting up to 250. We want to get them up to 10, but we also don't want to burn the outside. So we're having to be a bit careful of that using the Vortex because normally Vortex are used for smaller wings, hot fast, and then you're there. But let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking good. That's smouldering away nicely, just giving a little bit of smoke. Want to add a little bit, incorporate a little bit of smoke flavour to them. As you can see, they're, they're cooking through nicely, so we're just going to leave it like that. Keep ticking over. It may shoot up to 250. I'll keep an eye on it, see if it does. It may not, we'll see. But I reckon these are going to take a good 40 minutes to get them up to temp, because obviously you need them at that safe temp and you want them to be nice and juicy. So we give it another half hour and see where we're at. See you then, guys. Cheers. Okay, so we're just over the half hour mark now. We've been running for a good 20 minutes at around 250 Celsius. We was running around 200, 215 for about 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh yes, look at that dark color. They're looking good. Let's just get a bit of a temp situ going on. Okay, so 95, 94. Let's go in there and a deep bit by the bone. 88, 89, 87. Okay, look, 64. So we're going to flip them around and give them a little bit longer. I'm just going to flip them over. Point that thick bit towards the heat source, just so we can guarantee that they're fully cooked. Got to say though, this Vortex works really well. They are very big wings and it's chicken. So we've got to be sure, we've got to be safe. About another 10 minutes and then we're done. Okay, so we're now at the 40 minute mark. They've had 10 minutes. Just facing that thicker meat towards the heat. Yeah, look at that, 86, that's well safe for me. I'm happy with that. 95, 98, 89. They're all above what I need it to be for my liking. I like to go 75, 80 with chicken. 82, 83, 87. Yeah, we're there. I'm happy with that. They are looking juicy as ever. We're gonna win a chicken dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna get them off and let them rest. Not for any other reason apart from the fact that they're red hot and they will burn. Can't get over how big they are. You wouldn't need too many of these to feed a party, I tell you. I know I keep saying it, but these are humongous chicken wings. They're probably the biggest I've seen in a long, long time. And to be honest, I think what I need to do is do a video similar to Bradley Robinson's where he deboned them, but as in respect of cut round there and pulled the bones out, pulled them inside out, got all the bones out and stuffed them. That can only be good. So I need to get some more of these wings and I need to try that to be honest, but I'm gonna do something different with the stuffing. If you like satay chicken, this is the way forward. Honestly, you can go really heavy with this. It's not overpowering with salt at all whatsoever. And it absolutely tastes amazing. I actually had some wings last night with this on and yeah, I just had to go and get some big ones. And if you're one of those people that actually like to eat the tip, which to be honest, I gotta admit, I do like to gnaw on the tip. Did I, that, that, that doesn't sound right, does it? Nah. Nice crispy skin, that rub really comes through. 
honestly. You can't beat a chicken wing when you bite into it and you get that crispy skin. It just gives it a little bit of a better flavour and texture, obviously. So let's get into the wing itself. Super juicy, you can see it dripping. The amount of meat, you're not gonna need many of these bad boys, I tell ya. That satay chicken rub at the moment is one of my favourites. Ah, the hot. You probably got like three normal wings to one of these wings. Less mess, less hassle. Eat on one wing, you've got three. Equivalent to normal, what we get here in the UK anyway. They're tiny wings we normally get. Absolutely mammoth. Super juicy, crispy skin. I've got many people asking to come around for barbecue. This is going on the list of things to do for sides. So if you're local to Aldington in Kent, definitely go check these guys out at Bank Farm. Great little thing they got going on there. I will be using it a lot more. So with all that being said, go cook something exceptional. I'll see you when I see you. Cheers guys.